it's key when you're buying your fertiliser that you actually think about the time that you're going to spread it. So make sure you think about sulphur and think about P and K at the time, not just straight nitrogen. But once you've set up your spreader, on the actual day you need to take into account various other things such as the weather, the bout width, the forward speed and the headlands. So when you're thinking about the weather, obviously wind is a big factor. You don't want it to be too windy because this will affect your spread pattern. So as a rule, if it's too windy to spray something, then we would suggest that you don't spread either. So there's two components to forward speed. Not only will you affect the rate if you have the incorrect speed, but you'll also affect the spread pattern itself. So that's why it's key to make sure that you get that forward speed correct. So with your spreader, you should have either a, a headland disc or a border device that enables you to spread correctly at the headlands because that will then stop over or under fertilisation of those areas. Over fertilisation, of course, is a problem because A, you're going to be throwing your money away, but B, you could be putting on too much nitrogen on the crop, which could cause lodging and then obviously you'll have issues at harvest time. But on the other hand, if you're under fertilising a crop then you're not getting the potential out of it and there could be loss of yield there. The good news is getting all these things right isn't that hard, um, as long as you've got a, a good setup means that you're going to spread the fertiliser correctly.